Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and in this video, I am going to show you how you can install a custom recovery on MI4 very easily. So guys, for this method to work, you need to have a root access on your device. So assuming that you already have, I am going to proceed. And just in case if you don't have root access, I have already made a video for that. So you can check that out. So guys, you need to firstly download few files. So there are two versions of recovery. One is the clockwork mod and other one is TWRP recovery. Firstly, you need to flash the clockwork mod R8 version and after that, if you want to stick with the clockwork mod, flash the latest version. And if you want to go to TWRP, even then you have to first flash the clockwork mod and after that you need to flash TWRP recovery. So guys, firstly to download the clockwork mod, you need to come to this page. I'll leave this link in the description area. So once you come here, you need to press this link and you will download the R8 version of clockwork mod. You must definitely flash the R8 version of clockwork mod if you are flashing or if you are moving from the stock recovery to another recovery. So for that you need to just click this link and it will download the ROM. And it is a zip file so just download that and after that you need to press this link or else I'll leave this link where you will get the latest version of clockwork mod. So after coming here you need to download the latest version of clockwork mod. So over here we have the clockwork mod release 11 update 1 version and these are its previous versions you can download the latest version if you want and if you want to stick with clockwork mod firstly flash the r8 version from this link and after that flash the r11 version if you want to go with twrp recovery then you need to come to this particular page in xdo forms and if you scroll down here it is the twrp recovery and this is just the TWRP recovery with their custom theme and this is the normal TWRP with the default stock theme. So you can use any one you want. For the demonstration I am going to use this recovery. So I have already downloaded those recovery files and put it in my internal storage. So, so guys this is my device let me just show you the files that I have just downloaded. So if you look at over here this is the R8 version of clockwork mod and here is the Cyanogen mod recovery R11 U1 that is release 11 update 1 and down below we have the TWRP recovery. You can follow my mouse. Firstly you need to unzip or extract this file that is clockwork mod R8 version and once you do that you will get a folder. So that's the folder and in it you will find the recovery image. So guys you need to download and install an application called Flashify. You can find it in Play Store. Simply open it up and you need to enable root permissions for this particular application. For that open security app then go to permissions and select root access. And over here you need to enable Flashify. As of now it is already enabled. Let me just disable it and show you how the app looks if there is no root access. So let me open up Flashify and it will give me an error saying no root. Simply press OK and let's go back to the security app. And now just enable it and say next or accept. And now the particular app has root access. Now open the application once again and just in case kill it if you want just so that it doesn't have any previous information. So just open it up. Now select recovery image. Now select choose file. Now select file explorer. Now go to the location where the recovery.image file is. In my case I have put it in the mi-roms folder. And there we have the folder and the recovery image. Now select yep. It will basically flash the recovery image. And ask us to reboot. Now select reboot now. And our device will reboot into the recovery. So guys now is your choice to make if you want to stick with clockwork mod you need to flash the latest version of clockwork mod or else if you want to stick with TWRP you need to flash the TWRP recovery. So the difference between the two recoveries is that clockwork mod doesn't have OTG support just in case if you screw up your device operating system or, or if you want to change to other ROM when the device is soft brick then you can't do it with the help of a pen drive and you can't transfer the new OS image into the internal storage without turning it on. So in this situation TWRP is very beneficial. And one good thing about clockwork mod is it is true dual boot compatible. So what it basically means is there are two systems in, in MI4 system 1 and system 2. You can choose to install Cyanogen mod on system 1 and install MIUI on system 2. 
and you can switch between these two operating systems very easily. So if you want that kind of a feature, then Clockwork Mod will be really helpful to you. Otherwise, I would definitely suggest you to go with TWRP. TWRP works really great. The backup and restore options are working without any problem. OTG support is available for TWRP and you can even backup and restore your entire operating system from the OTG. So that's very nice and important thing to have. So guys, you can use the keys that is volume up and down to navigate and power button to select or else you can simply swipe on the screen up and down to navigate and swipe right to select and swipe left to go back. You can also use the three capacitive buttons down below. If you want to install TWRP recovery, you need to make sure that the active system is set to one. So for that, firstly, we need to go to advanced. Just go to advanced and there we have it, the active system two. Just navigate till there and swipe right and now select system one by swiping right or pressing the power button. So TWRP works only on system one. So you need to make the active partition as system one. Now, as you can see, the active system is one. Now, just to be sure, let's just reboot the recovery once again. It is in the advanced section. So just scroll up and select reboot recovery. It will just ask you to root the device once again or not. Just select yes. And it will ask you to fix the root. Again, say yes. And now we are simply rebooting the recovery just to make sure that the active system is one. So guys, just for the demonstration, let me just install the latest version of clockwork mod. And after that, I'll flash the TWRP recovery. So for that, we need to go to install zip. And now select choose zip from SD card. That is the first option. And select zero that is for internal storage. Now go to the folder where you have put all the recovery images or recovery zip files. In my case, I have put it in MI4 ROMs. Now select the latest version of clockwork mod, which is R11 U2 U1. Now it's asking me in which system should I flash it. I am selecting system one. And now select yes. And now it will flash the latest version of clockwork mod on system one. Now let's go back and reboot into the recovery once again. For that, let's go to advanced and select reboot recovery. And, the, and when the device reboots, we will be in the latest version of clockwork mod. So you can see the latest version over here. R11 which stands for release 11. Now let's install the TWRP recovery. For that let's select install zip. Now select choose zip from SD card same as before. Again select zero. Now go to the folder where the TWRP zip file is and select TWRP. Now again swipe or select system one and say yes and now we are flashing the TWRP recovery and now it's done let's go back and let's reboot into the recovery once again and before that let's just make sure that the active system is system one so everything's fine now let's reboot into the recovery So I'm just fast forwarding this. So there we have it, the TWRP recovery, which stands for Team Win Recovery Project. So we have all these features like install wipe, backup, restore, mount, settings, advanced, and reboot. Just like in clockwork mod, but with a much better interface. And according to some forums and reviews, clockwork mod has issues with backup and restore options, and it doesn't support OTG, as I've said before. So there's no problem with TWRP, you can stick with this. I am currently using TWRP for my backups and restores and I don't have any problem with it. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found this video to be helpful. 
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you don't like it, just leave a comment below this video and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.